Hi you guys, Shauna here. Today I wanted to update you guys on weeks 36, 37, and 38 of my pregnancy since I never got around to it. Um, baby Charlie is in the back. He is sleeping currently, so hopefully he stays that way. Um, so one thing I did forget in my week 35 update to tell y'all was that they did do the group B strep swab thing during my week 35 pregnancy. Um, during week 37, when I went back to the doctor, they did let me know that that did come up positive, which just meant that I was going to have to have some antibiotics once I went into labor. My doctor said it was no big deal and there was nothing I could have done to prevent it. It's just something that a percentage of women have. Um, so during week 36, we had a growth check as well as a biophysical profile. Um, both were great. He was, as I've mentioned in previous updates, he's been around the 80th to 85th percentile the whole time. He was still, he was the 83rd percentile that time. Everything looked good. Um, his biophysical profile went great. He did all the things he was supposed to do. Heart rate was good. Fluids were good. Breathing, movements, everything was perfect. So week 36 was easy. I did not have a doctor's appointment that week. I just had the screenings or the ultrasound. So that was it for that week. During week 37, we had another biophysical profile, which he did great at again. Everything was good. And then I did have a doctor's appointment as well. At this point, <clears throat> I was one pound under my starting weight when they weighed me. So I don't remember where I was at week 35 when I did my last update. But at this point, I was one pound under where I'd started this pregnancy at. So I was at negative one, <clears throat> which I was okay with. Um, I, those last few weeks, the last few five or six weeks of pregnancy, I started gaining weight quite a lot more than I had been the rest of the pregnancy. That was okay. My doctor said that was totally normal. So I was trying not to worry or stress or even really pay attention to it. Um, besides that, everything else at that appointment went good. My doctor just talked to me. She wanted to make sure everything was ready. She asked, you know, you have a car seat, you have a go bag, you have doctor pediatrician picked out all that stuff um she actually told me at that appointment because she kept asking if I had questions and I was just like no I'm good I'm just kind of going with the flow you know whatever happens is gonna happen I'm trying not to stress or worry too much about the possibilities of this or that because this is my first time and you never know how labor is gonna go you never know how your body's gonna handle labor you don't know how the baby's gonna handle labor so I'm just trying not to stress I know all the things that could happen um but I'm trying not to like dwell on them either she was like, you're my easiest patient. Most of the time by this point, people are like huffing and puffing and ready to get this baby out and they're miserable. And I was like, well, I'm uncomfortable, but if I, if he wants to stay in there for three more weeks and keep growing, like I'm okay with that too. Like I'm not in a rush. And she just laughed and said I was being really chill and easy. <laughs> um, and then, so that was it for week 37. During week 38, we went back and we had another biophysical profile, which he did great at. And then another doctor's appointment, which was pretty much the same stuff. She made sure I was ready for everything. Um, we talked about what to do whenever I did go into labor, like just come into labor and delivery and all that stuff. She talked to me a lot about like symptoms and things to look for. She did check me at that appointment. Week 37, she asked if I wanted to be checked. Um, my cervix checked and I told her no, I was good because I hadn't felt anything. Week 38, she did go ahead and check me. I've been feeling a lot more pressure down there, so I actually asked her to, um, and I was almost a one, not quite a one. She said she could probably have, like, kind of forced her finger into <laughs> through to make it a one, but it wasn't quite there. So that was kind of a bummer because I was, I had been feeling just pressure and more Braxton Hicks, and so I was kind of hoping that I'd progressed a little, but I had it. Um, but that was it for week 38. Besides that, so doctor's appointments all went well up to the end of the pregnancy. Um, symptoms wise, heartburn again was insane. I had started taking the Pepsi Day C, which I told y'all in week 35, and that had helped a lot, but it was still just there. Um, I had been having a lot of lower back pain, which should have been a warning sign to me that I was gonna have back labor, which I will get all into when I do my labor and delivery story. But I'd had a lot of lower back pain, um, and then just a lot of pressure, like in my hips and my pelvic region just feeling like heavier and pressure um, and then the round ligament pain had gotten pretty bad so a lot of times especially if I've been sitting for too long if I got up and tried to walk my joints just hurt so I don't know if that was the round ligament pain or just the hip pain but it just hurt really bad to walk there towards the end especially if I'd been sitting for a while so I tried to make sure I was getting up every 45 minutes to an hour 
and just kind of walking around because I knew if I walked for a few minutes it, it would get better um, <clears throat> besides that you know difficulty sleeping and the, all the things that had been going on previously were still going on but um, nothing that wasn't manageable it was a pretty easy end of pregnancy um, week 39 is when he was born and it was it came we went in actually for my week 39 appointment and then I went to the hospital that night so I'll go over my week 39 appointment when I go over my labor and delivery story and let y'all know how that went um but that's it for weeks 36 through 38 I just wanted to get y'all caught up since I did miss updating y'all those last few weeks of pregnancy next up will be my labor and delivery story here pretty soon and I will tell you guys all about that very long very difficult process sounds like little boys waking up back there so I'm gonna go ahead and jump off but I will see you guys next time make sure if you're not you go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up bye guys